Hello and welcome to the Chapter 6 podcast on Section 6.6. Today we're going to be talking about uh, the different shapes and types of orbitals. So one of the types of orbitals um, that hold electrons is known as the S orbital. Um, this one is a, a spherical in shape and it has, um, it's basically a, a probability map. Uh, basically, you know, statistically determining where it is most likely to find an electron um, within the within the realm of the nucleus. Um, this happens to be uh, these circles represent the 90% probability of finding electrons within the borders of these spheres. And basically, the way this works is 1s is the sphere closest to the nucleus, and it's in in you know when n equals one. Uh, 2s is actually is in 1s is actually inside a 2s and then 2s is inside a 3s so there's a, is, there's a lot of overlapping that goes on but because this is a density map um, there really isn't a true end to the uh, to any of these orbitals uh, what we see here are probability maps that show uh, how far away from the nucleus in angstroms each of these s sublevels are so you can see that 1s is very close whereas 2s um, is a little bit further away and even further away is 3s and here it does a nice job of showing the engulfing of the larger s orbitals of the smaller ones okay and the density continues to increase and you see these borders uh, in between these um, between these s orbitals but s orbitals aren't the only kind of sublevels there are also there are also p orbitals these are dumbbell shaped as you see on the bottom um, and the p orbitals begin to show up uh, in the second energy level. Each um, each orbital shell or each okay. each two s shell has three p orbitals. Um, so there are three of these. They're all the same shape, but they're oriented in different uh, in different spaces. And just like uh, the uh, the s orbitals. Uh, each one of these orbitals will hold two electrons and the size will increase and the same kind of behavior you saw with uh, s orbitals kind of applies to the p orbitals as well uh, there are d and f orbitals as well and you can see the the shapes getting more and more complicated d orbitals tend to have a four leaf clover shape as you see on the right with one donut shape with two lobes coming out of it uh, we don't see d orbitals until um, uh, uh, when n equals 3, the third quantum level, and then f doesn't show up till the fourth level. And you can see that for d's, there are five different orientations. For f, there are seven different orientations. And, this, and the shapes get more and more mathematically complicated. And that's it for now.